In this video, we will talk about the Hollywood connection. Do your favorite celebrities have ties to the mafia? Stay with us till the end because we are going to uncover some crazy facts ahead. The importance of connections cannot be overstated in this environment. Knowing the proper people can be the difference between success and failure. When you are looking for a job, trying to find a date, or simply trying to score some drugs so you can forget all about the whole not having a job or a date thing. Because of this, the fact that a large number of famous people have risen to the top by utilizing the most influential association of all should not come as much of a surprise to anyone. The Mafia is the topic of discussion here. Back at the Mafia. La Cosa Nostra. They will present you with irresistible offers and irresistible business opportunities that you simply cannot pass up. If you are new to this channel, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel right now. Number 11. Tony Sirico left starred in The Sopranos and Goodfellas. Tony Sirico, who is most known for his roles as Tony Stacks in the film Goodfellas and Polly Walnuts in the television series The Sopranos, was once shot dead in his brand new white suit after kissing the woman who belonged to another man. According to what he shared with the Los Angeles Times, it wasn't the first time he'd been shot, but he was more angry about the suit. By the year 1990, he had piled up 27 acting jobs and 28 arrests, including one for armed robbery. He was also a reputed associate of the Colombo family captain, Jimmy Green Eyes Clemenza, a Brooklyn capo. Sirico smiled as he reflected on his younger years and said, Every guy was trying to prove himself where I grew up. You were required to either have a tattoo or a bullet wound in your body. Both were mine. Number 10. Lenny Montana with Marlon Brando in The Godfather, 1972. Lenny Montana was allegedly questioned by Francis Ford Coppola over his ability to twist the cylinder of a pistol. Coppola directed The Godfather. The performer, who was six feet tall and weighed 300 pounds, responded with, You kitten? During the 1970s, Montana worked as a bodyguard for the Colombo crime family. This is how he ended up on the set of Coppola's movie and was eventually cast in the role of Luca Brasi, an enforcer. Number 9. James Caan as short-tempered Sonny Corleone in The Godfather It's possible that Montana isn't the only Godfather actor having connections to the mob. When the reputed street boss of the Colombo family, Andrew Andy Mushrusso, was arrested in 2011, James Caan wrote to the court offering to pay Russo's bail, Our two families are interwoven. He is the godfather of my kid, Scott. Russ was found guilty of racketeering and given a sentence of 33 months in prison. However, he was given credit for the time he had already spent behind bars. Number 8. Anthony Borghese played Capo Larry Baris Wright a recurring character on The Sopranos. Anthony Borges, a star of the television series The Sopranos, entered a guilty plea in 2011 for his role in a mafia extortion operation that involved the Gambino crime family in New York. Borges, who also appeared in the film Goodfellas as Sonny Buns, produced an anti-mafia video that was successful in persuading a Brooklyn court to spare him from serving time in prison. Borges, who performed under the stage name Tony Caro, claims that he was frightened to the core by the experience, stating, They threw me into a cage with 70 criminals. I was the sole one who was taken into custody for the very first time, because I was so terrified. I believe I was going to have to urinate on myself. Number 7. Big Mike Squicciarini left played a lovable mobster in The Sopranos. Michael Squicciarini better known as Big Frank Cipollina on The Sopranos, is a former debt collector who worked for the De Cavalcant mob in New Jersey. He was convicted of aggravated assault and served time in prison. His acting career never got off the ground because he passed away in 2001. Let me put it this way, Squicciarini said to The Observer when asked about the situation, even if things don't work out in the film industry, I'll always have something else to fall back on. I went home and got my rifle and my mask. In addition, Squicciarini had a tiny role alongside Hugh Grant in the 1999 film Mickey Blue Eyes. His body was covered with a tattoo that said Italian Stallion, next to a naked woman. Number 6. Liz Hurley produced the mob flick Mickey Blue Eyes, 1999. To further discuss Mickey Blue Eyes, 
In 2001, it was rumored that Liz Hurley was dating Donnie Shacks, also known as Dominic Montemorano, a convicted ex-captain of the New York Colombo crime family. Dominic Montemorano was sentenced to 11 years in jail. It is said that they got to know each other while working on the movie about organized crime that Hurley produced. That does not entail that they were involved in a romantic relationship, though. Since Shaxx had financial interests in Hollywood movies, the meetings, if the rumors are to be believed, were probably all about conducting business. Number 5. Frank Sinatra with Jimmy the Weasel Fraction of Far Right and Richard Nerves Fusco Bottom. For 40 years, the FBI monitored Frank Sinatra's connections to organized crime but never brought any charges against the singer. In 1978, Gregory De Palma Far Left and Richard Nerves Fusco were on trial for fraud, and the photo that you see above, which was provided as evidence by the United States government, was Exhibit 181. During the time of Prohibition, Frank Sinatra's father worked as a bootlegger. He also cooned a pub with Waxy Gordon, a notorious criminal who was known as the Beer Baron of New York. Sinatra Jr. began performing in the pub when he was just eight years old, so he was already familiar with the regulars. Additionally, Sinatra had a cordial relationship with the head of the Chicago mob, Sam Giancana, and took presents from members of the Chicago mob named Joseph and Charles Tricker Happy Fischetti. Number 4. Marilyn Monroe Conspiracy Theories Still Surround Her Death Decades Later Since Marilyn Monroe's body was discovered in her home in Brentwood, California on August 5, 1962, Rumors have never stopped circulating about her. Her hairdresser, George Masters, claims that he took her to Frank Sinatra's lodge in Lake Tahoe, where she allegedly spent time with Sinatra and Sam Giancana, the head of the Chicago Mafia. The assertion, which has not been verified, is that Giancana attempted to convince Monroe not to reveal the affairs she had had with President John F. Kennedy and his brother Bobby, but he was unsuccessful. According to Masters, he and Monroe returned home in Frank Sinatra's private jet. Later that evening, her body was discovered. A sleeping pill overdose was judged a probable suicide by the coroner who investigated the death. Number 3. Jerry Orbach as Lenny Briscoe in Law and Order According to what a retired murder investigator named Joseph Coffey told the media, Law and Order actor Jerry Orbach may have been an eyewitness to the shooting death of Joseph Crazy Joey Gallo but he refused to cooperate with the authorities and took the secret to his grave. In the 1971 film, The Gang That Couldn't Shoot Straight, Orbach played the part of unskilled gangster Kid Sally Palumbo, which was partially based on Gallo's character. On the evening that Gallo was murdered in 1972, the two men were friends and were spending the evening together. Number 2. Robert De Niro with Anthony Ruggiano Wright claims that Robert De Niro met with mob boss Anthony Fat Andy Rogiano in order to research his character in the mob comedy Analyze. This had been refuted by the actor. Reportedly, Anthony Carrazzo, a member of the Gambino criminal family, was working as an extra in the movie and was the one who brought together the two actors. De Niro stated that he did not remember taking the photo with Ruggiano shown above far right, which was supposedly taken in De Niro's trailer while they were filming the movie. Number 1. Gianni Russo as Carlo Rizzi in The Godfather Gianni Russo was a mob gopher for Frank Costello, in addition to being an actor, a crooner, and a self-proclaimed Hollywood godfather. With a flair for telling stories, however, it is possible that not all of the things he told were entirely accurate. Russo alleges in his tell book that he had affairs with Lisa Vanelli, Zeb Gaber, and Marilyn Monroe when he was 16 years old and she was 33 years old. He also claims to have had a strange date with Zayza Gaber. In addition to this, he recalls an altercation with Frank Sinatra, saying, he tried to slap me I grabbed his skinny wrist and said, I'll rip off your arm. In later years, Sinatra was invited to become his son's godfather. That's all for today. Share this video with your loved ones. Have a great day.